New tonight, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan unveiling a plan to fight blight, and he's getting help from a bank with a million dollar incentive for homeowners. Seven Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn is live at City Hall with details tonight. Jeff, what's, it all, what's this all about? Well, Dave, the mayor tells me there's about uh, 50,000 abandoned homes in the city of Detroit, and he has a plan for each and every one of them. Now, tonight, however, he addressed how to save about 70 homes in the Mary Grove community. Here's the reason why he's starting there. We're going to roll through the city, starting with the strongest neighborhoods. Mayor Mike Duggan talking to residents of Detroit's Mary Grove community, promising to address abandoned homes in a 16-block area of the city's northwest side. And there's a reason Duggan picked this neighborhood. Well, the housing stack here is beautiful. The first phase of Duggan's neighborhood-by-neighborhood neighborhood effort began earlier today when the city placed these signs on 79 vacant homes, notifying the owners they have only until Monday or the city will file suit under a nuisance ordinance. If the owner doesn't upgrade the home, they could be titled to the city's land bank by May and on an eBay-type auction site in June, fulfilling a campaign promise Duggan offered in the days leading up to the November election. I'm doing what I said I would do, uh, and in the next uh, two or three months in this neighborhood, we're going to find out whether it works. But there's more. Duggan, during tonight's public meeting at the House of Prayer Church on Wyoming, announced Tom or Bank has committed $1 million to the Mary Grove neighborhood and will provide up to $25,000 in forgivable loans to buyers that live in the home for five years. $5,000 for each year. So anybody who bids on these houses is going to live there has essentially got a $25,000 gift uh, from Tomer. But some in the crowd were skeptical. We've had so many problems with the banks foreclosing on homeowners in the city, and here we are now supposed to trust a bank. Others are concerned only developers will gobble up the properties. But I would like to see individual homeowners get these homes. The mayor prefers the homes go to individuals, but is not against developers buying the land. We want the homes renovated and occupied. Well, the mayor tells me he hopes to save about 50 of those homes in the Mary Grove community. He says this is just a pilot program. He wants this to expand to a neighborhood every two weeks. That's 26 neighborhoods in the first year alone. Live in Detroit, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. All Dave. right, Jeff, sounds like he's putting a lot of people on notice.